Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an API endpoint and connect it to an existing edge gateway. Before we get started, I'm gonna show you my current setup. I'm gonna be using my staging environment, which currently has one control plane and two edge gateways. Now I'm gonna go and create my first API endpoint. In order to do that, I am gonna go into my control plane and select my dashboard link from the right hand side. Now, if you've used Tyke before, this should be quite familiar. This is the Tyke API dashboard. And I'm gonna go into APIs from the system management on the left-hand side panel and create or add a new API. I'm just gonna keep it simple and say my first API, leave it as rest. And I have my HTTP bin as the endpoint. I'm not gonna to make too many changes here, just the authentication mode, just because we are testing. I'm gonna use open or keyless for now, and I'm gonna save this. So there you go. The API endpoint has now been created. However, this is no, not linked to an edge gateway at this point. So in order to do that, let's go back to our type cloud dashboard. A couple of things to notice. In our edge gateways, there is this section called tags. And as you can see, there are two types of tags. One is edge, which is common across both of the edge gateways. And the other one is a location tag, which is dependent on where the edge gateway has been deployed. So my first one, for instance, is in US East, and the other one is in EU West. So we are gonna be using these tags to connect our API endpoint to these edge gateways. So before we do that, let me just quickly copy this and open this up. I'm gonna type in the endpoint, which currently will not give me any response because we have not added or connected the API endpoint here. So both of our edge, edge gateways right now are not connected. So let's go back and do that. In our course from our uh, API, we go into advanced options. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we're gonna see this section called segment tags. And we are gonna start off, so we're gonna be showing how to connect the API to each individual gateway first, and then we're gonna connect it to both of them together. So we start off with the first one. So I'm gonna select my first tag, which is AWS East. I'm gonna add that as a tag and update. Now, if I go back to my gateway URL and refresh, I now have a response. So the API has now been added to the first edge gateway. However, the second one is still not gonna give me a response because it's not connected. So now let's do that. If I go back now and have this, now I can simply add both of them, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just gonna remove the first one and update. So this should give me a response from my second gateway as well. The first one will now stop. So this is how you would target specific gateways based on um, the tags, specific tags. Uh, however, if you want to add the API or connect the API to both of them together, you simply add edge as the tag and update. And now if I just refresh this page, I have a response from my first gateway and refreshing this would still give me a response and I have it from the second gateway as well. So there you have it. That's how you would add 
an API endpoint and connect it to an existing edge gateway. 